Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about Uzi workflow. If you are planning to go for an Hadoop interview, definitely there will be a question about job scheduling. So most of the interview, they will ask you about your Hadoop project. And there will be a question in the Hadoop project saying, hey, how are you configuring your job, which will be doing some transformation. You know, when you are working as a Hadoop developer, definitely it is a combination of different different component of Hadoop platform. So we can have the combination like Hive. You can have a multiple script, which is a SQL script of Hive. We can have some pick script. There will be some shell script, which will check some condition. And we can also have a Java code, which is written over there. You know, all this component of Hadoop, basically you know depending on each other high shell script you will get some output maybe that output you can use it in some peak maybe the output of peak you are using and doing some conditional check with the help of shell script you know we need to configure and we need to write the action in such way that one of the output of one action it should be the input for another action maybe you have heard about something called cron tab which is again a basic thing and every unix platform it is also coming with the cron tab so cron tab is a scheduler which will schedule your job because in the night if you want to start any job you cannot go in the night and you can start the job so what we will do normally we are writing our shell script and all the shell script which you have written you are going to configure that shell script in the cron tab itself now this is all about the cron tab so in the hadoop platform they are using the uzi workflow uzi workflow so what this uzi workflow contain it is containing the different different action like hive peak shell script java code or you can also use the scoop so these are the different different action you can configure into the uzi workflow and same action you can call it from this uzi workflow itself now how it is working these are all things we are going to see in the future video but at this point we need to understand that in order to configure the job and in order to schedule the job in the hadoop platform we are using the uzi workflow basically there is a one xml file we call it as a workflow.xml file so i am writing it here that it's a workflow.xml file workflow dot xml file and this xml file contain the different different action so this action can be your shell script it can be your sql script which is again high code or it can be your java code also now when we start any job let's say we have already written one project which is taking the input from any maybe it's a podium injection or any kind of the java injection okay so this is a source for us we are using some transformation on this by using the sql script and once the transformation is done we are storing that output in the csv file and same output is going to the client so this is the basic project of hadoop so in order to run this project what we are doing here we are using the different different component right we are using the podium injection we are using the sql script we are storing that output in hjfs right and at the end that output should go automatically to the downstream team so again some tipco mailbox or something will come here right this is basically a one job which is using the different different action so all this action can be configured with the help of uzi workflow okay now this uzi workflow is if you see this uzi workflow i will show it in the, the demonstration part also if you see this workflow.xml here you will find some variable like dollar name node because we are not hard coding it we are just using a variable that needs to be replaced by some value right so all those value will be stored in properties file properties file so there are two more files which are really important here the first file is workflow.xml and second one is your property file 
workflow.xml file will have a different different action and all those action will be called automatically if you configured it in the Uzi platform. So this is how the Uzi workflow plays an important role for the scheduling of your Hadoop job. Thank you so much. In the future video, you will understand more about the Uzi workflow and the practical way also. If you want me to train you, definitely you can contact me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel so that everyone will understand about the Hadoop platform. Bye-bye for the day.